Hello, it's Estrella with a reading for the collective. Take what resonates and throw out the rest. <clears throat> I was sick for a couple days, so didn't post, but, but I'm back. What do I need to know? Wow. Okay, so this is about your soulmate, your twin flame, a special bond. This connection involves a close friend, romantic partner, or tribe. Okay, so let's let's tune in and see what we need to know about the soulmate. On the bottom of the deck, we've got 5D higher self, light plane guidance, telepathy. soulmate. Right. That kind of popped out. Let's see, what was that? It fell. Wow. Something that someone was manifesting has come to an end, or someone's manifesting an ending. feels like this could be some sort of manipulation, but I'm going to put it back in the deck because it kind of fell out while I was shuffling. We'll know if those were of interest for us in a moment. Okay, what do we need to know? Okay, so this is about temperance. Just the right mix, blending of opposites, healing, prayers, help from the other side. Let me close that window. My mic is still charging. is that this king of cups is lying or was lying or is sneaking or needs to sneak so how do you heal with that kind of behavior if I'm reading that correctly let's keep going because I'm going to clarify Two of Pentacles under in the subconscious position. Someone's feeling like maybe they've got a lot going on or like they are going to potentially drop the ball or it's just chaotic or there's a financial loss or something like that. In the recent past, there was some sort of like I would just say that's you in full form. Just very confident and um, some sort of like faith, faith, something to do with you and faith and hope. A you and your star energy. A lot of Aquarius, a lot of Aquarius in this reading. Um, I don't do a lot of astrological. Um, but that's standing out to me. Okay, there's that magician with the Seven of Cups again. So someone is planning on either manifesting, they're trying to figure out their options, but they're doing it from a place of illusion, or they 
or trying to create an illusion. And this, this did come out as well, but I'm going to put it back. It's someone making you an offer or something coming to you. Really great. Something, something's on the way to you. Um, and that could be why this person is manifesting, but I'm going to put this back in the deck as well. In the near future, we have a King of Wands showing up. We'll find out why. This person is feeling like they're really hanging in there with something. They feel bruised and battered and like they've been going through something over and over and over again. Or that's what they're intending on doing. A soulmate can be love, friendship, business, and the environment position almost like as if someone's on top of the world but there's just an end to this cycle it's like this phase is over in some cases that could be some sort of pregnancy this person is hoping that destiny plays out in their favor or they're afraid of their own destiny or they're afraid of karma outcome is eight of wands so this could be some fast communication a message um some sort of travel could be um yeah any kind of like internet communication um some kind of like intuitive communication um, or final decision being made based on all of this under the deck we have the fool so it feels like this person is really wanting to take a leap of faith the soulmate they're they want to do that or that's what they're concerned with One thing that I wanted to is I'm gonna tune in to see who this is to you. Let's get some of their traits. Companion. This is a networker. This is a Midas or a miser. A child eternal. A prostitute. Meaning that they place material considerations and security above self-empowerment. Damsel. Okay, that's, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to check. Because this is feeling like... So this is like a karmic feminine scribe. Child orphan, feelings of abandonment that stifle maturation, seeking inappropriate surrogate families. Engineer, reliance on mechanistic solutions without regard for emotional consequences. Angel, acting innocent or angelic to mislead others, falsely claiming to be in touch with angelic guidance. 
So this has to do with your soulmate or a soulmate. There could be some, there could be a uh, distorted feminine energy that is creating confusion or friction in regards to a soulmate, whether that is a friendship, love, uh, relationship, or business relationship. So this person um, has extreme dependency on others. They hoard money and emotions. Obsessive fear of losing wealth. Conveys information only for personal gain. Spreads fear and falsehood. Feelings of abandonment that stifle maturation. Altering facts or plagiarizing other works. Waiting for a night to provide for you, seduction by a romantic illusion, and betrayal by misusing confidences, loss of personal identity. Okay. I'm glad I asked. So let's get some clarifications. There's obviously a reason we need to know this. Um... I definitely get these karmic readings or distorted feminine energies a lot lately. So there's a reason we need to know. So there's a balance that's being, there's a need for balance and healing, or there's a, there's a pathway towards balance and healing. Let's see, with this temperance. Wow. Okay, so it's like someone's emotionally stuck on this idea of, like, strength, confidence, courage. Um, but someone's, like, keeping this tower from erupting, trying to stop a tower, avoiding, avoiding it. And being very crafty about it. Trying to, if this is a... Okay, so we've got someone being very crafty, trying to avoid a tower, trying to use their strength to do it, or maybe counterdict someone's strength with some sort of, like, manipulation. This could have to do with marriage, or some sort of um, traditional kind of group or organization. It's as if this is, say, a dream come true. It's wish fulfillment. It's like appeasing to some someone's kind of more like e immediate gratification. With this, this is how this person is avoiding this tower. But the thing is, is that this person is definitely juggling. And this is in the challenge position, so... It's like chaos. This is what it's doing is creating chaos because it's a lie. So right now, in the, with your your person that you're thinking of, this is creating chaos for this person in their life. Because. very hasty and tyrannical and it's like trying to avoid trying to avoid a tower it feels like emotional and it feels like using emotions to get what one wants Two of Pentacles, clarified by Seven of Swords, reversed. So that's clarifying these Two of Pentacles, which is this chaos, this disorganization, dropping the ball, 
everything is falling apart for this King of Cups based on this lie. Or whatever it is that this King of Cups lied about is creating this disorganization. So, uh, with this karmic or distorted feminine energy. So, there's like some truth that's coming out. This is what's in the subconscious here of this person based on this. It's because of the chaos. It's because of the chaos. Somehow this chaos is leading to the truth. There's this imbalance has become so um, strong that what's, what's coming out of this event or phase is is the truth about about juggling or being juggled there's something about you for for this person that created bad fortune bad luck the other side of the wheel when things started to go well for you, whether or not you recognize that or not, you're, you're coming across as this star energy, very confident, attractive, um, and spiritual even, a little bit cosmic, star seedy energy. Um, and maybe this is based on, as we know historically, lies and things that weren't true. So... It's just this person ended up on the other side of the wheel because you continued to be yourself. This person wants to send a message or get a message out there. They, they're kind of trying to manifest some sort of illusion with a message. This is the distorted feminine energy. In the near future, we have King of Wands, clarifying King of Wands with Three of Swords. So pain and suffering, some heartbreak um, around this King of Wands or the King of Wands ends up with the heart heartache. This person is... This person is sticking with the lies and the gossip. They are not going to let go. It's being very cunning and frivolous. It's like acting without thinking and not really caring who they hurt. Sun in the world. It's clarified by five of swords in reverse. This could be some sort of revelation because this is in the environment position. It, this could be about you, something that you've been through, someone trying to win at all costs. I do feel like because of this here, this queen of wands with the star here, something, it's like a truth about you or your, your true nature is clear. And, and it could be that's what's sort of coming out here. So it's like the sun is coming out. And the person that has been trying to win at all costs is being seen. This is like illuminated. This could be also because of Five of Swords Reverse, it could be more, an increase of, of the Five of Swords. So wanting to win at all costs to the extreme. But I think this is almost like being exposed because if, if a person keeps this behavior up, eventually the truth 
will come out. The Wheel of Fortune. This person is afraid of just losing control because they know that they've done things that, you know, they, they're afraid of justice. Eight of Wands. This person's going to, there's a decision's going to be made, some quick decision for this person. They're going to end up ending, procrastinating with this, this action, whatever it is that they're trying to do here. It's going to, there's going to be a lot of delays and it's, I think they're going to react. Um, this is three of, uh, sorry, Knight of Wands in reverse. Just very um, inappropriately cruel, cruel behavior, feeling stuck, some sort of communication based on, it's like very reactive because they're not getting what they want. <clears throat> so we got Magician here under the deck. So it's interesting because it's like a couple energies that are popping out for me here with this like magician and the fool it feels like somebody wants to take a leap of faith. And then we've got this magician here. So it's almost like willpower is like trying to steer this fool the way they want this fool to go. Hope this is making sense. <clears throat> see here. Journey. Yeah, this is definitely about someone's life path with this temperance and journey here. Hierophant. Really trying to affect the choices someone makes and create some semblance of, of balance. But it's really not, it's just not real. There might have been someone who was after money or status, and that's partially the reason why um, this isn't working. It was lies. There's disorganization, and, and things are all just getting very chaotic here and falling apart. So it's like almost creating this temperance at the last minute for no reason. Right, this unexpected income again with this two of swords sorry two of coins two of coins here two of coins here fortune here unexpected income here so this person could be expe experiencing some sort of like financial setback because of a lack of synergy and the chaos is like now playing out in this person's life Yeah, somehow you came out as very, just very clearly as, I think for the, the masculine energy or your person, as sort of like the answer. There was just, a, there was a lot of clarity around who you are to this person and that the hope lies with you. This person might be trying to send some sort of negative 
no, let's get one more message. Well, it's definitely a message because we've got message and page of wands. So this person, this feminine energy is trying, is planning on creating some sort of illusion based on a message. They could be sent about to send a message. This could be them also posting something about themselves or creating some sort of illusion to cause disunion. And then in the near future, we've got this message of concern. So it feels like it has to do with this King of Wands, which is your person. Or this could be another King of Wands. This could be... This could be someone else. Because this King of Cups... If this is business, for instance... This King of Cups could be this distorted feminine energy just being very manipulative and, uh, and lying and creating chaos just for money. And this Temperance could be them doing some very manipulative things, trying to sort of get theirs, so to speak, um, trying to take something from you and but are experiencing chaos in their life. And I think they realized in the recent past that whatever they've been doing has been creating karma for themselves. This is for business. And, but this person is still planning on, they're, they're gonna try to manifest some sort of news or information or something like that that might affect your your relationship with this king of wands and it could create some sort of heartache for this king of wands or you could find out about it and it it it's this person's already lying, so whatever this illusion is feels false. So this person is very much still up in your space here. If it's a if it's a feminine energy that concern, yeah, this person is all they can think about is you. Let me just get a couple more. And then I'll tell you if this is a romantic. You know, there you are. Just coming out as. It's everything is being illuminated. If this person has been creating a lot of lies around you, this person is being seen for who they are, but they're just not done yet. They're definitely worried about the sort of karmic wheel. This is not going to work out well for them at all. This outcome, whether this is bad, bad health, like mental health, or just being in a bad, bad way. Um, whatever this action is that they're taking. I guess this is just more manipulation. If this is a distorted feminine energy, that is a... person that's attached to... like a divine masculine. I'm going to get a few more cards. 
not exactly sure when that cut off. Um, we just have this, this energy is trying to sort of kiss ass because they don't want this person to move on and they're using whatever tactic they can. The problem is, is that it's a dirty offer. It's, it's corrupt in the subconscious. This is just about wanting someone because of like what they can do. It's very, um, what's the word? Opportunist. It's very opportunistic. I think people were confused about who you are because of rumors and things like that, but it's made this person look really bad because of your consistency. In the, in the, in the recent past, something came up where you've just been shining or being yourself and it's just not holding up everything that this person has said and done. Yeah, this is what I was thinking. So we've got this divination abuser, clarifying magician, message house. So definitely trying to do some sort of, this is definitely creating in whatever way someone is going to try to manipulate something here. And it has to do with a message or the way that things are seen. It's like trying to manipulate perception and then I think this King of Wands Maybe some sort of like recognition of exactly what they've gotten themselves involved with here. Seems like it wants to come out. If this is a if this is a romantic situation, it almost seems like this is like, make it out to be like you. I don't know yet. I'm going to get back to that. This person can't get you out of their head. This person is definitely stalking you. Wow, look at this. Legal issues, photo proof, dodging bullets, screenshots, bad habits. So this is all, this is all being seen because this is in the environment position. It has to do with you. So it's like your reputation as it pertains to this person who's been trying to fabricate lies is all going to, it's, or, it's already out. It's already out and these people are dealing with the uh, ramifications of that. I think this first person was like worried about just being forgotten. That's their worst fear, losing control and being forgotten. I think this person's going to keep trying in this outcome, but it's not going to work out for them. Yeah, for them right now. Everything they tried to do to you is, it's kind of, it's backfiring. So, I think in this near future, what we've got is, I feel like this is a divine masculine becoming very clear based on whatever this manipulation is. I just want to get a little bit of clarification, and then we'll call it.
maybe we should also find out what they're going to try to do here with this manipulation. They're creating an illusion, but why does this divine masculine end up heartbroken? What, what happens? Bully. Yeah, that was my intuition. They're, they're going to find out just how far this person has gone. There's just more to be revealed in the near future here, and it's going to be pretty heartbreaking. Or this person could become more abusive. And it could be something that people don't see. What is this person trying to do with this magician? union home okay that is really strange because we've got house here and home here and ma magician divination abuser union home just sending a lot of evil eye <laughs> got bad vibes So definitely, definitely protect your space. Get out, get out in nature. Connect with the divine. They're just gonna send some bad juju your way. Yeah, use your nag champa. Keep focusing on your north node. Know that that's that's a plan. All right, um, that is this reading. I'm gonna do another one. And uh, yeah, it looks like things are definitely shifting here and someone's trying to hang on, but everything's falling apart. But they're gonna still do some manipulation here, trying to kind of stop this person from taking a leap of faith, whether this is like in business, friendship, or love, this person is acting very sweet, but a lot of it's all based on lies. They're going to do some sort of manipulation here, sending some sort of message or vibes, and it's going to be very heartbreaking for this King of Wands in the near future, and this person can't stop thinking about you. In their circle, things are coming out about them. It's all coming out. And in some cases, there could be some issues where this behavior, like stalking and things like that, or blackmail or defamation could end up landing them in court. So I hope that helps. Bye.